everyone, this is Allie and welcome to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm finally going to be getting some art up on my walls after living in my apartment for over a month and a half. That's because in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make three very easy wall art DIYs. The three projects are a butterfly shadow box, a canvas wall banner, and a moon phase sign. All the supplies you're going to need for these projects are listed and linked in the description. And I'm also going to link to the text instructions that are up on my blog. So without further ado, let's get crafting. For this faux mounted butterfly shadow box, you'll need a five by seven inch shadow box frame, fake butterflies, I found mine in the floral section of the craft store, cardboard, canvas or duck cloth material, you can often find this in the remnant section at fabric stores, scissors, a pencil, and a hot glue gun which didn't quite make it into the shot. The first step is to remove the back of the frame. Then take the back and trace it onto the cardboard, and then cut it out. Next, trim your material so there's about an inch on each side of the cardboard. Now take your hot glue gun and attach the material on all four sides and secure the corners. Then take your butterflies out of the packaging and gently pull the wires out from their backs. Arrange your butterflies on the cardboard backing and then attach them using hot glue. Lastly, reassemble the frame. It might be a snug fit, but the cardboard should squish down enough for it to fit. And now you have a cute shadow box display without harming a single butterfly either. To make this trendy wall banner, you'll need duck cloth or canvas. I'm just using the same material from the first tutorial. This banner pattern, the PDF, is linked in the description. Twine coordinating trim, scissors, black paint, or if you don't feel confident in your painting skills, you can buy iron-on letters. I'm using paint because I don't have an iron. If you go the paint route, you'll also need paint brushes, a dowel rod, something to cut the dowel, and some sandpaper, or even a nail file would work, a hot glue gun, and a ruler, which I forgot to show here. First, trace the pattern onto the back of the material and cut it out. Next, hem your banner by putting hot glue on the edge and folding it over about a quarter of an inch, but do not hem the top yet. Then, take the dowel and cut it at 8 inches. Sand the cut end of the dowel until it is smooth. Now take your banner and fold the top over about an inch and glue that down. Insert your dowel rod. Next, measure at least 18 inches of twine. Remember, it's better to cut extra than not enough. Tie on the string and secure with glue. Trim off any extra string. Then take your trim and attach it to the bottom of the banner. Leave a little extra on each end to fold over to the back to prevent fraying. Now onto the words. First, find where you want to align the words. It helps to mark the middle first. If you're using iron-on letters, then skip these steps and follow the instructions on your iron-ons. If you're painting, then first draw out what you want your banner to say. I'm writing dream big since this will be hanging in my bedroom. Then. Paint in the words and let it dry. And now you're ready to hang your trendy customized canvas banner. Last, I'll be showing you how to make this super easy moon phase sign. You'll need a wood board or sign that's approximately 18 by 5 inches, black, white, and silver paint, two round sponge brushes as well as a wide regular brush, a scrap piece of cardstock or heavyweight paper, something circular to trace, and painting supplies like a palette, paper towels, and a cup of water. My sign had a frame around it, so I added a little paint to match my room. This step only applies if your sign has a frame and is optional. The first real step is to paint the board black. 
While that paint's drying, you can make your stencil. Somehow this clip got deleted, but all you need to do is take the cardstock and trace the circle and cut it out. I use the inside of this tape roll. Now that we're back to video, you can take your stencil and align it in the middle of the board. Then take white paint on the foam brush and dab it first on a napkin to remove excess paint, then gently dab it in the stencil. You don't want to completely fill in the stencil so it looks like craters on the moon. Continue down the line next with a half moon, then a crescent. Repeat on the other side of the full moon. Next, you can take some silver paint and dab that onto the moons just for an extra touch. And this final step is optional, but you can take a white colored pencil and label the moon phases. And there you have it, an easy but cute way to bring a little outer space into your room. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed those three DIYs, and if you plan on making one of those yourself, I would love to see the finished result. So you can use the hashtag craftingwithally on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, and I would love to give it a like or a share on those platforms. And you can follow me on social media with these handles right here. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, and then leave down in the comments below anything you'd like to see me DIY in the future. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos in the future. And that's all I have for you this time. See you in my next video. Bye!